Earth's hidden twin, long lost Mayan pyramids, and a pair of killer asteroids. With coronavirus flooding the headlines this whole year, you may not have realized 2020 was filled with science. Here are the craziest scientific discoveries from the last year. In August was one of the craziest things you didn't hear about. An asteroid named 2020 QC passed within 2,000 miles or 3,000 kilometers of Earth, less than a quarter of Earth's diameter, and within the range of GPS satellites. That's the closest an asteroid had ever come to Earth without actually hitting it. And to make matters even worse, we only detected it about six hours after it passed by the planet. The good news is we now have some breathing room. It's already out past Mars, and we won't be seeing it again until 2028, when we'll pass much further out. But if you thought we got lucky that time, not even three months later, we had an even closer flyby. 2020 VT4 passed within only 230 miles or 370 kilometers above Earth's surface. That's lower than the International Space Station, and it's about as theoretically close as an asteroid could get to Earth without actually hitting it. If 2020 VT4 hit the ISS, or one of the more than 6,000 satellites in orbit around the Earth, it would not only destroy them, but send space debris hurtling towards the other satellites, potentially causing a cascade of destruction. And if it had actually hit the Earth, it would have produced an explosion equivalent to 47 kilotons of TNT. That's more than the bombs dropped in Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined. And again, the asteroid wasn't even discovered until 15 hours after passing by the Earth. So yeah, if you thought 2020 couldn't get any worse, there were two killer asteroids you didn't even know about. But 2020 wasn't all bad news. NASA discovered an Earth-sized exoplanet named TOI-700D. To date, over 4,000 exoplanets have been discovered, with over 150 being added in 2020. But TOI-700D is unique because it's the first Earth-sized exoplanet found within its sun's habitable zone. When NASA looks for planets, they're not just hunting for any old rocky body. In fact, most exoplanets don't even have a rocky body. That's because exoplanets are discovered based on their effect on their sun, and the bigger the planet, the easier it is to observe this effect. But this means that most of the exoplanets we find are big, on average being four times the mass of our planet. That's what makes TOI 700D so special. Not only is it less than 20% bigger than Earth, but it also orbits in the sweet spot around its sun. Not too close that surface temperatures can reach 800 degrees Fahrenheit like Mercury, and not so far that the planet would be covered in frozen oceans like Uranus. And the planet is only 100 light years away, putting it right in our corner of the Milky Way. The saddest scientific event of 2020 was the death of the last Chinese paddlefish. Native to the Yangtze and Yellow River basins in China, it was one of the planet's largest freshwater fish, growing as long as 23 feet, or 7 meters, and it could weigh up to 1,000 pounds, or 450 kilograms. The paddlefish existed for more than 200 million years, meaning it literally swam alongside dinosaurs like plesiosaurs and elmosaurs, and then survived the mass extinction that killed them. When the paddlefish started swimming, birds, flowers, and even grass didn't even exist yet. But 2020 wasn't all bad, at least not for the elephant shrew. After having been reported extinct almost 50 years ago, the elephant shrew was rediscovered in southern Africa. And astronomers got clues to what the early universe looked like after they found the oldest material ever. A meteorite that landed in Australia is estimated to be 7 billion years old, about 2.5 billion years older than the solar system. The asteroid was mainly made of iron, water, and oxygen, but it contained a handful of amino acids critical for life. But that's not the only strange asteroid news of 2020. According to researchers out of Harvard, an asteroid that landed in the Saharan Desert is the first to have a protein. While we found plenty of asteroids with amino acids, this was the first time we'd seen them come together to form a protein, like the ones we see in our own bodies. These findings are especially relevant to panspermia, the theory that says that life exists throughout the universe and gets spread directly or indirectly by interstellar objects like asteroids. This makes us question if life really evolved on Earth or was just a stowaway from some far off planet. Besides everything new in 2020, there was also some old, the discovery of the oldest and largest structure from the Maya civilization. Using LIDAR, scientists discovered a pyramid top platform dating back 3,000 years. Located in southern Mexico, Aguada Phoenix is a flattened mound nearly a mile in length and between 30 and 50 feet tall. The structure has a greater volume than the Great Pyramid of Giza and suggests the Mayan civilization could come together to build great communal works in a way that had never before been seen. Like most great Mayan infrastructure, it's believed to have been used for religious ceremonies, but its exact purpose remains a mystery. And that's not the only mysterious thing scientists discovered in 2020. 
it turns out that the North Pole is moving, and it's moving fast. Researchers discovered that because of changes to the Earth's molten core, that the northern magnetic pole is moving faster than ever before. When it was first discovered, the northern magnetic pole was in the northernmost territories of Canada, but ever since 1904, it's slowly been making its way further north, towards Siberia. In the entire 20th century, the pole moved by 700 miles, or 1200 kilometers, but now it will move by half that distance in just the next decade. And in smaller news, scientists recorded a video of atoms bonding and separating for the first time. Now I'm sure you've seen videos like this before, but these are only artist renditions of what we think atoms look like. Now I know this probably doesn't look like much, but over the past century, we've had a lot of different ideas on how atoms looked and behaved, so actually being able to see them bond in real time is a huge step forward. And scientists made great strides for renewable technologies, discovering a way to recycle plastics. Okay, most plastics are already recyclable. Thermoplastics, which make up about 75% of global production, can be recycled by reheating them until they become liquid, where they can be reused in different products. But thermoset plastics, which make up the majority of the unrecyclable plastics, can't easily be liquefied. Once they're set in a given shape, they're in that shape for their lifetime. Or, at least until now, as scientists discovered that by adding some chemicals to the plastic when it's first produced, it could retain all its normal properties, but later be broken down. Finally, one of the most significant milestones of 2020, NASA's OSIRIS-REx space probe touched down on Bennu, becoming the world's first probe to retrieve samples from a foreign body, with its cargo due for return to Earth in 2023. Bennu is a rocky asteroid discovered back in 1999. It has a 1 in 2700 chance of hitting us in its flybys of Earth in 2175 and 2199. But even with these odds, with a diameter nearly half a kilometer, taller than the Empire State Building, it would produce a 6,000 megaton explosion. For reference, the Tsar Bomba, the largest nuclear bomb ever detonated, was only 50 megatons, and it would leave a crater more than 4 miles or 6 kilometers wide. If an asteroid like that was to strike DC, more than 3 million people would die in the fallout. To better understand these asteroids and how they formed, Project OSIRIS-REx landed on the asteroid, collected a sample, and then blasted off on its return mission to Earth. We will hope this will help us to learn more about the early solar system that created these asteroids. Hopefully, you learned some of the crazy science that happened this year while the pandemic covered the news. If you want to see our 2019 review, click here. As always, have a great day. And remember, there is always more to learn.